1969, McCook High School graduate and United States Air Force Colonel Linda Aldrich welcomed many to the July 4th salute to military in Norris Park. There's a great honor in the ultimate risk and sacrifice when anyone is willing to lay their life on the line for their country and their home. But that love of country and family begins with how you're raised and what you're taught as you go through life. No one would be willing to live or die for their country if they didn't have the influences of people like you. The people who taught them that this is a country, a state, a hometown, and a football team worth preserving. <laughs> The salute, designed as a tribute to military personnel, was for both active and veteran members, as well as those who will always be remembered in the hearts of Americans. As a group of community musicians under the direction of Charles Coleman sang the theme songs for each different branch, veterans and their families rose to be honored for their service to our country. The United States Army's theme song. The United States Marines theme song. The United States Navy's theme song. The United States Coast Guard theme song. And the Air Force's theme song. As part of the salute, the poem Old Glory was recited by representatives from the Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and different branches of the military. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over great institutions of learning. I am proud. My name is Oh, glory. Dear God, long may I wave. The salute was part of the Bison 2010 All School Reunion, an event that brought hundreds of alumni to town to celebrate McCook High School as well as our nation's independence. At the end of the July 4th reunion, the McCook Optimist firework display brought the perfect ending to a patriotic and inspiring Independence Day celebration and reunion. This has been Justin Bass, McCook Daily Gazette.